Hey you guys, I'm back with another video. So this is going to be, I guess, in a view, first impressions, first time using a U-part wig. I got this from naturalgirlswigs.com and this is the kinky unit. And I think it was 14 inches 1B. Anyway, I spent, what, 253.13 cents. And I ordered this on the 13th. It arrived today on, wait, we're in, wait, hold on. We're in May, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, this week has been hectic, so. Basically, it arrived today. I'll put it on the date, and we're about to open it and see how it looks out the bag. All right, so I lied. It's actually 16 inches, and that's how much it, I'll put it on the screen how much I paid for it. And it came with a tote, a maintenance card, of course, this one wrapped up. But hold up. Ooh, this actually looks like my hair. Anyway, I'm so excited. So I'm going to do what it asks me to do, which is like, wait. I know it said to co-wash, but since I'm personally going to wash my own hair, um, I might as well use the same deep conditioner, right? Anyway. Just as a co-wash and then use the same products and do all of that. So, yeah, that's the thing for today. I'm going to take it out. Now, it has the, I feel like if you order enough, um, how can I say, wigs on like AliExpress, which is where I got most of my wigs from before I decided to like, you know, try other wig companies. Um, it has that smell, but it's not as intense as it is on AliExpress. And of course, this is how it looks on a 16 inch. It's not combed out, just straight out the bag like this. And how many combs? Let's hold up. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see. Can y'all see? Okay. So you got one, two, wait, <laughs> three, sorry, three, and then you got four, five, and six. You got six combs. And of course, this little lace thing that you need to cut out. I'm so sorry. This is okay. But, all right. Let's actually take a look on what's the inside. So you got these hooks and you got six combs. Yep. Yep. You got six combs. And you also got the lace that you need to um, cut out before you do it. Now let's take a look at um, on the inside structure. Sorry. So you got this netting and uh let's see if i can like kind of see just so some of y'all can like see how it is on the inside i don't know if y'all can see but yeah this i like and i'm going to co-wash it today i thought about doing shampoo but i was like mm, nah. and now i'm also going to detangle it just like how i'm doing my natural hair but um i'm gonna do all of that while i'm you know personally going to like you know wash my hair because you know oh, today is wash day at least for me and it's time for me to finally wash out my hair. So I'm going to probably use the same products. I'm thinking about um, doing a tea. So like I'm um, leaving some, of course, you got to leave, leave out. But like at least for the front, at least not to let it show first. Probably close this in. So that way it can be tighter on my head. And just have like the front edges and stuff out so it can blend better. So we'll see when we get there. So I'm going to go. Okay, you guys. So this is my hair. I'm going to wash it. Suck in this little fro. And um, I'm starting to, well, I still have some but flakes from leftover product. So yeah, I need to wash it out, but it still feels moisturized. And I'm starting to like realize as I'm going, you know, start trying to like worry about length and stuff is that dryness isn't really a look, it's a behavior. And so far it's not like ripping and stuff. So, and this is like, as I'm looking at the sun, hold up, let me, let me see. Hold up. Hmm. Okay, so it is black. I thought his thing, uh, a few months ago, I dyed my hair um, black, so. I could like do more cells, but as I'm going in the sun, I'm starting to realize that maybe it's more of a natural brown because I did pay extra for that 1B color because I didn't want to waste my time getting X, paying X, well, like just a box just to like dye all that hair. So, mm, yeah, I'll keep it as such. Not, and just to think I was about to like dye my hair black. I mean, not black, but like a nice um, brown with highlights and stuff, but ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm going to save this and uh, it's time for me to start watching. That's it. Okay, you guys, so I'm so sorry, but my ooh, my battery's low. Do you see how dark this water is? And I think it's a hair dye, because I ordered a 1B. All I did was dunk my hair in so it can, like, soak it up so I can co-wash. Look how dark it is. And, of course, I see some hair flowing. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it one more time. But, like, yo, that's a lot of dye coming out. I wonder what dye they used. Anyway. Ooh, child. This is a whole lot, but it definitely is long. That's for sure. So I'm going to be back. Sorry, I wish I had my flash on, but, like, my phone is almost, like, dead, so I'll be back. Hey, guys. It's technically been a few, well, weeks since I received the U-Part wig, but here's the thing. It's so beautiful and so soft, especially after deconditioning it. I cut off the combs on this side because they were, like, really annoying my edges. So here's the problem, right? The only, and even with the combs in, because I tried it on with the combs in, um, how I like to style my U-Part units, at least the way that I be seeing people do it, is, um, you know, they, like, leave some layout on the top and to the front of the hair so it looks like it blends seamlessly. But because... Listen, the cap is so big, at least to me, and it's, I guess it's a standard medium size or something, but, um, 
I'm, so I started to look up, you know, videos on how to make, you know, wigs in general smaller focus. So I think I'm going to sew in two tracks in first um, in the lower back because mo most of the bulk is here. But at the same time, I don't want it to be too bulky in the middle. So I'm going to do it in the back because they're pretty spaced out, you know. Let's see the spacing. Huh, hold on. Let's see if y'all can see. Listen, basically, spacing is pretty, you know, the spacing is big, which is good if you are a big head friendly. Now, the wig is so good. However, I wish on their website for natural hair, um, natural girl hair wigs that they would... um have, you know, you know, a section where you can get small, medium, or large for custom. Because it did take a while, like I said, probably earlier on in one of my videos, that if you're going to order from them, I don't know how it was before COVID, but um, at least now during the whole COVID situation, I, uh, I think in the other video, I said, give yourself a month of whatever event that you probably want to do it for before you order this week, so it can give you all that time to, like, you know, ship it to you. But now I'm going to tell you, give it two months at least, or at least a, two months and a half. Here's why. So I like the hair so much. I was like, you know what? Let me get me some clip-ins and like a lace front. So because like the other website, I'm not going to lie. I wanted to order from Heat Free um, Hair. But the size, at least for the medium size, is constantly sold out. And it's a size small they can only get. And it's like, I don't want to risk it not fitting on my head. Because yeah, sure, I'm kind of skillful. But I'm not skillful enough to like, you know, make it bigger or something. No, that's not my forte. So anytime that the certain clip-ins, certain items from Heat Free Hair is always sold out and all that other stuff. Or it's not in stock. So I was like, you know what? natural girl hair on um, wigs they are kind of, well they are affordable compared to like heat free hair so i was like you know what and it actually matches my hair texture so let me go with this company so i decided to order at least frontal and uh and uh you know clippings 14 inch clippings which i tried it and it's basically the, around the same size as my natural hair which i probably should have gone longer but I, I don't know what i was thinking anyways but it's nice okay and i also ordered uh the 4 4c 4b um lace frontal wig and I received my clippings. However, I did not receive. Hold up. Get out. Is this it? No. Wait. Yes, it is. Yes, this is. I think so. Hold up. Sorry about that. But does this look like a 4C, 4B um, wig? Now, don't get me wrong. This wig is quite beautiful. And in fact, I, um, for the 4B one, I got, um, I mean, the 4C one, I got the 14 inch. No, not the 14 inch. The um, 18 inch. But child, at least the wig construction is nice in this one. So at least I know where to get for that because I didn't even know that this was included. But now that I know, at least I know where to order it. And it's so beautiful, but um, this isn't what I ordered. So they sent me the shipping um, label. Today's a Sunday, so uh, I got to wait until Monday to ship it out. But I already got my label printed out. I got two labels printed out, and I laminated it because I don't know how long it's going to be till it gets there. And hopefully at the same time while they ship me that label, that they're also shipping my real rig out because if they have to wait to receive my stuff and then wait another month just to send me my wig, oh, my God, it's going to be a disaster. But, yeah, at least I got my clippings. Um, yeah. Although... My clip-ins, I'm not too sure if they're really 14-inch. Because, yeah, sure, like, um, they look shorter. But I feel like once I stretch it out, it could be less than 14 inches. We're going to see. We're going to take my measuring tape or something. But it's nice. At least I know where I can get a closure from. Because <laughs> this is this is a nice wig. I didn't even take it out the net or nothing. Nothing like that. And now that I know that they have this, and I didn't even notice it. But, child, I hope my um, 4C um, wig comes in like that. <sighs> With that being said, let me put it back in the bag and ship it out tomorrow. But, yeah, um, that's basically some of the problems that I probably ran into. Um, hopefully while they, you know, like I just said, hopefully they also shipped out my real wig and I already sent in screenshots and all that stuff. And so we'll see. And yeah, um, uh, that's basically it for this year company for now. I'm going to, well, I got places to be, so I probably won't sew this until like later on tonight, but, uh, yeah, goodbye y'all for now. Bye. So we are here in the dingy basement and I just deep conditioning my, um, 14 inch hair. And this is how much during the detangling process came out for all of the bundles and you do get a lot of bundles i'll say that much so upon washing it i do realize that yes it is you know 14 inch and i wonder how like and it's very realistic like you have some parts are short some parts are long with that being said i think next time if i do get clippings which i highly doubt which i might wear this like a few times and then resell it i don't know how like what do you guys do like um with you know hair that you probably like but you know get rid of because i don't know i don't it's not like i'm listen i'm the only child i don't have no siblings to pass this on to or like any like close girlfriends with my hair texture so with that being said i think i may have to resell it i'll see how i like it but i think for me i wasn't expecting my natural hair on my head to be as long as i thought it was because you know when it's all shrunken up and everything it is literally around the same length as this hair when it's all shrunken up so when it came in like that i was like oh i was hoping this to be longer sorry i was hoping this to be like a bit longer well it is a bit longer you know once you get this twist out so i think Today, I'm going to try doing a twist out with it, and um, at least for today, and then see how it goes. And maybe to make my hair appear longer, I might um, put it a little bit closer, not close to the root, but like a bit, you know, further down the root. But how janky is it going to look? I don't even know. Hold up.
hair, I wasn't not like as I'm like looking at my own hair, I realized that you know this pretty much matches. It, it definitely is a very very good match. Okay, for that length of hair, I I say if you have shorter hair than well mine is in the high puff, then uh go for sorry go for definitely go for the 14 inch if your hair is shorter and if you have thin hair it will definitely give you the volume me i already have volume i just want the length okay like i don't need the volume i just need the length and you you do get a lot of clip-ins i think i'll um put it put in um like a chart or something of how much you get because like um for the ones that has like two combs it's for them four you get four tracks of the four um two combs um then there's the three comb ones and you get two of them plus with the um one with four combs you get two of them as well and the one with five combs i think you get two of them as well so that's a, like a lot of clippings for a reasonable price hold on let me just double check for the two yep you get four of the two combs let's see one two yep two of the five comb one yeah you do get five can y'all see y'all can see yeah you get like you know two and then for the three combs it's like two four let's see you get two combs for the tracks so that's four of them then you get five which is probably good for like the perimeter of my head for that one it, you also get two of them and also what else the three ones with the three combs yeah you also get two and the four part um the four combs yeah you also get two which i might put around the perimeter of my hair because when i want my hair out i don't want people to see the roots of my hair plus some parts of my hair are shorter than the others like i know this part i cut it because i um i had the rubber band stuck in there so and there was no way for me to get it out so yeah i i cut that shit so yeah i feel like if you have short hair like that yeah definitely go for the 14 inch um i think maybe next time i should like remeasure my hair so that way i can get the length that i want because you do get a lot so with that being said i don't think i need to put too much clip-ins um for my hair and um i think the last time i measured it at least in its natural state it was like 12 inches so i thought the 14 inch would be like you know realistic and you know be more out there but like nah nah <laughs> it literally just especially when when it was straight out the package it was like kind of shorter than my natural hair to be honest so i'm gonna be you know stretch it out just to see especially while i'm doing my twist out because like um my hair starts like especially at the back right here so next time i'll definitely go for like um maybe a 16 inch but we'll see but uh yeah that's basically it for the clippings we'll see how it is today hopefully i'll insert that in but i got a lot of shit to do so um i gotta get going goodbye hey guys um so i just got done it is 12 on um, 35 in the morning i got four tracks in here um for the clippings and what i use is the hold on I use the Talia Waji jelly on top of the um, double buttercream from As I Am. This is actually my first time using um, that cream and that gel together. And this is my first time using the cream in general. So uh, I just want to be nice and moisturized for my natural hair. I left a lot of leave out from like the sides. Okay, that's probably why I didn't use the longer bits. And this is surprisingly a little bit longer. Like um, normally when I do a twist out or something, my, let's see, it's not as long as here. That's because in the back I um, put the clip-ins a bit um, further down, but I did move it up just a little bit, like right here, like um for when it comes for like my natural hair twist out. And I was correct, like the top part of my hair is a lot shorter, um in its natural state than um the clip-ins. It's slightly longer, like literally an inch longer or so, like an inch and a half. But um yeah, that's basically it. Um we'll see how it is in the morning. I probably well I don't have time in the morning to take it out because I literally got what. One, two. I got three hours to sleep <laughs> before I get up for work. So, goodbye. Y'all probably gonna see it later on in the day or tomorrow night because I still haven't, you know, sewn those two tracks together for the U-part wig. And we'll see how it is. And I'll probably add some more gel towards the edges, but I don't know. Um, yeah. Goodbye. As you guys can see, this is the clip-ins. I literally took it out the next day. But, um, they're really nice. Compared to everything else that you're about to see in the next few video clips, this is very nice. Get the clip-ins, okay? But go for a longer length. All right, everyone, today's June 17th. Hopefully this is the right rig, but judging how puffy it is, I'm guessing it is. Hold on a bit, y'all. It is the right wig. Yo, this is nice too. And it's the lace front. So, it already comes with a band in. Let's see how, and it's definitely handmade. Everything is handmade about this. From here, let's see how, and I like how it already has a band in. Now, I wish that the band had the similar band too. You remember when I showed you the wrong wig that they sent? I think the other one also had a band, but it's the one that um you can adjust the size of the band. So <sighs> it doesn't have it, but you know, at least I'm happy it has it because that's less work for me. I was about to go in. Now, personally, I like it when my bands are thicker, but we'll see how this is. And I'm going to co-wash it and maybe I'll use the same exact gel that I'm using on my wash and go right now. So we'll see. I also forgot to mention, I hope y'all can see this, sorry, but it comes with two combs. Plus the arm band, which is perfect for me because I always get rid of the ones to the side. 
because I don't want to rip off my edges. I don't know if I should rip off the one on top. We'll see how it is. But um, for now, I'm going to keep it there and wear my um cap. But that's basically it. I'm so sorry. So I forgot. I never recorded when I received this in the mail. I try to look it up like my nails. Anyways, so as I said, there's no consistency within all of the wigs. Now, this is my first closure I ever gotten from any company. But here's the thing. If you have a big ass head, it is not big head friendly for this. Matter of fact, also this one is also not big head friendly. So with that being said, and before I even cut it or like bleach the knots and everything, I'm kind of nervous about cutting it because like um the way that I normally do my lay my lace down, uh, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a struggle because of the way that the wig is constructed. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, I'm kind of nervous, especially because personally I wear glasses anyway. So mm, I don't know. I don't know. I got my head as flat as humanly possible. But on um, this one, as you can see, there's no... You got what? There's no four combs. Well, you get, just got three combs. It's a lot more nicely constructed, but it's not big head friendly. You can adjust the sides. This one is just a regular sucks that I wasn't recording. So this is the Kinky Straight in, the, um, in 20 inch. I ordered it around the same time. No, actually I ordered it back in June. Out of all the wigs, this was the one that came the quickest to me, to be honest. Um, I wish I recorded it what day I had it sent, but it was around the same time like literally probably just a little few days after they sent the correct wig, which was the kinky one that I just showed. But this is how it looks. Okay, straight out the box. Straight, well, technically straight out the bag. I'm going to need some kind of straight iron because I don't own no hot comb. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I just don't. So it's not like I can flatten that curve or anything. So um, with that being said, if you are, if, listen, if you got a big ass head, I don't know how this is going to fit on you. Like I'm a medium sized head and um, I struggle with this. Like it fits just as snug as a rubber band and you got three combs, you know, you got the one in the back and the one to the sides of your heads. Now, this is so nice. However, if I like rubber bands, I mean the band method, because at least I can adjust it, you know, and like cut it out. But like, um, at least this one is nicely constructed. But like, if you got a big ass head, I don't know what you're going to do. Like, honestly, I think you need to contact the owner or something to see if they make custom adjustments. I don't know if that's an extra cost for any of these wigs, because it's like, on one hand, I wish that they really had a section where you can like change the size of the wig so that way you can like you know personalize it and tweak it yourself without doing all that extra work like that you part wig yeah it, I, I don't even know i guess it was for a medium-sized head but it felt it felt so big on my head and even when it came down to like because like before i even decided to like you know do all the crazy stuff to the you part wig which i have yet to finish because now i need to comb back put put the combs back so it can actually fit again child that you part wig is taking much work a lot more work than i thought it was <laughs> anyways like i was saying the U part wig itself, when I first discovered the company, it was too big for my head, even with that closure. It was too big. So now I did the rubber band method. Still, now it's a bit too small. Now I got to put back the combs in where, while, while the two ones in the back, towards the back, because like there was several combs actually. And I, I don't, I'm not feeling all those combs, but you know what? It's a U part wig, so what to be expected, right? So hopefully today I'll put it back in. But like I said, this is, like I said, this came in faster than all the other hairs I bought from the company, including the clip-ins and all that stuff. But, um... I don't know what the big heads are going to do, y'all. I don't know what y'all are going to do. Because, like, this has even snuck for me. And hey, guys, this is not seen, and I'm back again. So, I noticed that the video cut in a certain area. So, let me reiterate for the um, clip that you're about to see. The hair, so soft, just like the U-part wig. So soft, so big and beautiful. And I can tell I'm going to have fun with it once I figure out how to put it on my damn head. <sighs> like I said, I was very disappointed with the construction of the wig. Because, like I said, when they sent me the wrong wig, Despite me, despite me getting the wrong wig in the first place. First of all, what kind of products do I want to use? It's very pretty. Very, very full. Like, yo, very full. Okay. And it's very soft, but like, um, it's going to be a struggle trying to put this down. And I don't want to cut into that black hat. Especially since I'm a glasses wearer. Oh, Lord, it's going to be a struggle. So I'm going to cut it into like four parts for the lace. Of course, I'm going to bleach the knots. And we'll see from there. Wish me luck, y'all. At least for this wig. Sorry, I just now noticed this. How, like, the tracks are kind of sewn in. Our um, closures are normally sewn like this. Because, like I said, this is my first time ever using a closure. Like, ever. Like, ever. So, I don't know if they're always like this from different companies. Or is it just this one? Anyway, let me flick this thing on. It's sussy. So, <laughs> as you can see, by the power I'm editing and stuff, I'm finally getting to the lace frontal for the 4C wig, right? From um, Natural Girl Wigs, right? And look at this. It's nice, right? However, this is loose textured. I was hoping for some tight curls, and maybe if I had gotten shorter, then yeah, sure. But here's the thing, right? I already got short 4C hair. The whole point of it is to, like, you know, get a longer piece. But, like, here I am, and I'm kind of disappointed with the hair. Well, I am disappointed. First, with the wig construction, of course, which you already saw earlier on in, and now with the texture of the wig. Good hair, but, like, I was hoping for a tighter texture, so. <sighs> 
I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm using Cantu and some, what, that wet line gel with the blue cap? Yeah. I'm just, 4C though, but the clip-ins, definitely, definitely 4C. But like this, this no, just no. It makes my disappointment in it even heavier, you know? I'll be back. So I'm done <laughs> with the wig. <sighs> Come on, y'all. Does this look like 4C wig? <laughs> it doesn't. If anything, this looks like a 3C after cream. <sighs> like, it's so loose with a hair texture. All I did was decondition it and put some cream and gel. This does not look like 4C <laughs> at all. In fact, I got a wig like this downstairs. This ain't 4C. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm just, it's three o'clock in the morning. Let me get some rest and think about my life decisions because ain't no way that I spent this much money. It's not even 4C. Hey guys, I forgot to mention, but a while ago, oh my goodness, probably around the same time that I got the 14 inch clippings that I did get, go back and get a longer length. And this is how it looks like. And I must say, I do like the longer length better. I think that I got a 16 inch. I keep getting compliments left and right. So I just want to end it on that before I end up on a bad note. <laughs> At least to let you know, sweeten it before I deliver the blow. So there is that. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, It's been probably two days, the wig is off. And I'm ready to do my whole review. I'm going to say this. If you want some good 4C clip-ins, like I said many times in this video, probably looking back on my editing stuff, then yeah, this place is good for you. However, I cannot constantly recommend this company because of the lack of inconsistencies and quality sometimes. I wish, like, hopefully if they do get enough money, like I said, that they will improve the website where you can actually request um, based on the size of your head because it's like, there's no consistency at all. Like, I remember the very first time that I ordered, it was too big. Like, just the U part was just too big. The fact that I had to sew in two tracks together, uh, no, make that four tracks together. So I can make it smaller just to fit my head is a lot. Not to mention, and that was a bust too. So it was like, great, now money done, great, right? And on top of that, the first time they sent me the wrong wig, fine, whatever. And I was happy that they were, you know, at least able to reply back and say, hey, okay, we'll send you the right wig. And as you can see from the clips a few, you, you know, last year, you could see I was excited and everything. I was really excited. So... <laughs> Imagine my disappointment, and obviously, uh, the reason why I post, like, you know, dates and everything is because, one, I'm really nitpicky, and I want to know, and I'm nosy about everything. I want to know everything, but led up to this moment, every single thing, right? So, obviously, this pandemic has affected all of us. And I was even trying to excuse it, you know what? Since, you know, the supply chain is going, you know, haywire and everything, not every company is getting their shit together. Hell, even in my company where I work at, they will be two weeks where we don't have no supplies, and we can't tell customer shit because it's like, we don't have it, right? So, with that being said, being said the wrong way twice is too much. That is money down the drain of hard work and stuff. And the reason why it took me so long is obviously this pandemic has affected all of us. To keep it above 100, I've been working overtime. Plus, last year I became a caretaker for a parent. Obviously, I don't have time to be, you know, in some ways like I wanted to, like I used to, and all the things I wanted to do. <laughs> so, look at this. Look at this wig. This wig isn't even close to 4C or 4B at all. I'm looking at the website, and I will include screenshots. This looks like their, um, their, their kinky curly wig. I literally have, a, the fact that I have a wig like this that's longer and it's downstairs, and it's from AliExpress, and I didn't, it's who my, like, the anchor's still there, so, and it's, and it kind of sucks, because, like, one of the footage I lost was, um, literally, as soon as I, um, got both of the wigs, because I got, um, the kinky, um, no, the kinky blowout wig, and I also got the so-called correct wig, my 4C wig, that, and first of all, this isn't even 18 length, I made sure to, like, blow it out, like, um, blow out part of the wig, it's not even a full 18 inch, <laughs> So, one of the footage I lost is that they actually gave me a coupon code because they saw that I'm spending all this money on them, right? I will not be providing that to y'all because, like, let's be honest. I have been on YouTube for a long ass time as a viewer and also just to, like, view stuff, right? So, I know, like, I've seen YouTubers rise and fall over sponsorships and everything, and especially when it comes to affiliate codes when we didn't know that was a thing. And also, like, with the, like, messing with people's audience, like, I don't want to be that type of YouTuber. I've seen too much here on YouTube where even, like, um, YouTubers that you thought you could trust only to find out they're shady later. I, especially when it comes for people's money like that, when you're spending close to, like, $500 on a wig, no, I'm not going to do that to y'all. Even if it's a short discount, like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not putting in the discount, I'm not putting in the link anywhere, like, if you want to, you can find it from somewhere else. Find it from somewhere else where you're not going to get that from me because I don't feel confident enough to, like, and I just started out on YouTube, right? At least for this YouTube channel. I have another YouTube channel, but that's besides the point. The point is, for this YouTube channel, as I'm starting out on my own and everything, I do not want to fool nobody, especially when it comes to that. And I've seen cancer culture. And i also seen, like, other people where, you know, they would send the influencer a different wig. And you, the customer, they get a completely different wig of lower quality. No. 
And sometimes by that point, the readers start to cancel, you know, the influencer because they think that they're being scammed by the influencer and the wig company, like, you know, Tana Mojo with the makeup company and all that other stuff. But sometimes that's not the case. And you won't, and you, the influencer, won't find out until your people start telling you this. Obviously, I am a regular customer, so, like, to be experiencing all of this and then after that they offer, oh, you're spending a whole lot of money. No, 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 I don't care. Like, <laughs> I'm generally, like, I'm trying not to curse so much, but, like, mm -mm. no, that's money down the drain. And now I got to go back to work, of course. But it's, like, I wish, my only regret is that I wish that I caught this on a whole lot earlier. But, obviously, like I said before, working extra overtime plus becoming a caretaker. Listen, I don't have time for just time to myself just to do stuff like hair or other stuff like that from last year. So, now that I'm finally having just a little semblance of just a little bit of peace and finally getting the things I wanted to get to, it's, like... And I can't get my money back, obviously. At this point, you're better off with the clip-ins, and that's it. I wanted to get, like, um, after, like, you know, last time I said that, I wanted to get a headband clip um, from there. And the last time I checked, they didn't have it. But now that I checked, when I was get gathering screenshots before I sent the email out, they do have it. But it's like, is it even worth it now? No, probably not. You'll probably get the wrong wig again. <laughs> At this point, I'm just better off trying to look for another hair. Like, I know there's another company that I really wanted to try. In fact, there was one company that I wanted to try before this company. But I said on this one because I feel like, you know what, they actually have stuff available and I'm able to get it. You know, because, like, the other company, what was it? Heat Free Hair, another black-owned company, right? Their stuff is always sold out all the time. And part of the reason why I gravitated for, towards this is, like, at least it's available. At least I'm able to, like, get my hair texture, right? At this point, I might as well be on the wait list if I wanted to get customer service stuff in. <laughs> At this point, I might as well go for another place because no, no, this is unacceptable. I, I'm trying, I'm trying not to like the only. Oh god. With that being said, this is a straight up B, <laughs> B minus or something. If you're like rating this whole damn place, like I don't know if they made improvements back there. I'm not gonna risk it, and I don't want you to risk it. But if you want to do it, go ahead. Use someone else's coupon code. You're not gonna use mine. I'm not even gonna link it. But like, damn, like I'm really upset. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna take a minute. I really didn't want to end this video that way, but I feel like I have to tell y'all. So. <laughs> And I was having fun with the 4C clipping. So to have like the wrong wig set again, no. Now I don't even know what to do with this. You know what? Since it's too late now, I might as well, you know, do maybe some twist out. No, not a twist out. Because this, because I tried doing a twist out within those two days. I was like, no, this ain't working. This shit is not working at all. This is too loose textured. It's too much. It's like, no, this is too much. So if anything, I might turn this into a kinky twist. Like get some hair extensions and like, you know, kinky twist it. So that way I could just throw it on and go, you know, or maybe braid some hair into it. But <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> I'm real mad. So obviously i'm not gonna throw it away i'm just gonna turn it into a braided or a kinky twist wig so that's my review <laughs> i don't know what else to say besides the fact i'm highly disappointed so that's it <laughs> i feel like i rambled up enough and it's taking too long but at least you get a full scope Ta -da!